I'm gonna ambush Ray. Hi! <laughs> I got Ray putting up a piece of conduit. See that conduit right there? So I can hang canvas across this span. So when I do videos, cooking videos, I hope, you won't have to see my classroom. Although we don't mind seeing Olivia. Hi. Hi. You got lunch? What you got? DBJ. DBJ? Mm -hmm. Delicious? This is a Christmas this candy hang cane hang hope that I hung on there for a Christmas. Oh, so you can put Christmas candy canes on it? it mm, yeah. Cool. It's so I can eat them when I want to. Ah, I like that idea. So here's our crazy table right now. Because we're crafting like crazy. Christmas crafts. And I'd rather you guys not have to stare at that. If I decide to cook over there. I don't want you to have to see all that. Although that is cute. But I would like to. Yes, you may be excused. Good manner, sweetheart. Clean up your spot. I think you can do it. So this is my less than perfect kitchen setup, but I did not build it. This is my cute little reading spot. And there's fixings for something I'm hoping to do a video for you with. So in the meantime, we're going to hang this conduit. This is my fancy kind of curtain rod. It doesn't bend as easily when the kids pull on it. And it had to span this whole section, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, because I like the, the roof, the ceiling. But it has to go from that corner, levelly straight across, so I can hang a nice big canvas curtain. Until I can get curtains that aren't drop cloths. Thank you, love. Whoa. How are you doing over there? This is my pal green bean. That's your pal green bean? Yeah, he's super soft. Let me see him. Do you want to see the giraffe on him? Oh, isn't it cute? You're cute. <laughs> That's been your blanket since you were a baby, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was super cute and funny. Uh, That's fine. Uh, you can look up. Just trying to hold on with this little snuggle going on. Hi, snuggler. Snuggle. Nice snuggly girl. I love you. I love you. Huh? I can snooch it down a smidge. Snooch. <laughs> what is snooch? I mean, a smidge is one thing, but how do you snooch a smidge? Let's see. <laughs> Did you ever snooch a smidge? Did you smidge a snooch? Did you ever hear the word snooch before? No. Do you think he's making it up? Yeah. I do too. <laughs> so Ray bought me this canvas and I'm going to use these clip rings and I'm going to have a curtain over there. I hope. <laughs> here, take the video. Stand right here. Is it recording like this? Yeah. Putting up a curtain? Yep. I made a funny No, line. stay where I told you. Let's see how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It is good. Can mm -hmm. I come in? Can I come in? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Come over here. Do I come in? Yes. yes. Ooh. 
Get him in your head. Well, she can do it. Giddy up, Punky. How's it look? Good. Blah, blah, blah. Cooking, making good food yum? Yeah. All right, cool. Here you go, Mom. Thanks. Thank you, V. You're welcome. So that works. Make me food. Let's see how long before they actually pull all that off. Little well, mug shots. <laughs> Alright, cool. Just a little gap at the floor. Yeah, that'll look much nicer, but I'm moving my aprons. I don't like that. That's not okay. What is going on? Look at this. been doing this since this morning. No hanging laundry today. <laughs> oh man, lots of snow. Go make some bread. <laughs> what you doing? Making shrub. Shrub? What's that? Well, Doug and Stacy had a video a little while back. And what you do is you take equal parts of mashed fruit, apple cider vinegar, and honey. And yes, dear. Right. And you put it all together, and you let it sit for four days, and then you strain it out, and we like it mixed with seltzer, don't we? Yep. Let's see, we have the last of the old batch. Oh, did we drink that? No, it's a little bit left. This is the last of the old batch. What did we use for this? Blueberries, raspberries. Blackberries. And blackberries. And then this one is grapes and blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries, right? Mm-hmm. And the last one I kind of messed up because I strained the fruit and then added... You add equal parts. So if you have this much mashed fruit, you're going to add this much honey and then that much vinegar. Three, 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 you know, third, third, third. Well, I had strained the fruit last time before I put in the vinegar and the honey. So this time I did it right and I didn't strain the fruit and I left the vinegar and the honey and we had it in this for four days. And every time we walked by, we gave it a little love and gave it a shake. Tastes good. And now today is day four, so we can strain it and we'll mix it with seltzer and we'll have some. And I'll share some with you guys. So, I don't have a chinois. So in lieu of a chinois, I'm using this strainer with a spoon. And then the chickens are gonna get all this awesome, look at all this stuff, all these seeds and the pulp from the fruit. It's mixed with honey, which is a natural antibacterial, antifungal, and vinegar, which is great for gut health and other things, especially apple cider vinegar. So we also get to share some with the chickens. That's going to be good. So here's that yummy seed pulp full of honey and vinegar that we're going to give to the chickens. Use eighth of a cup. Eighth of a cup per two cups. For this much. For a can. We mix it with some seltzer. You can have it with water too. We like it with water too. So what's that? Lemon juice. Thank you. to put that in the garage. We've got a little bonfire over there ready to go. That's an old, an old piano. 
looks like today might be a good day for it, actually. <laughs> oh no. They put some treads on here after I screamed my butt off after falling and bouncing on the very same butt that I tried to scream off after I fell. He's got us all shoveled out. Scratch. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Scratch the belly. Scratch the belly. Oh, you're such a nice kitty. Charlie needs a love too. Charlie crawling out of the house. Oh, he was in the cat house. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go lock the door. Nobody came outside, of course. I'm gonna go lock the other chicken door. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to step on cat flop here. Deepest snow, flop. <laughs> Please stop flopping. Stop flop and roll. He wants to go downstairs. <laughs> this is our cat house. Let me show you guys. See the kitty? There's a cat house. Cats want to go to the basement because it's warm. <sighs> Let me show you this. <laughs> So I've got this all weighed down, this canvas. I'm gonna come in here, around this curved coroplast, and I've got a pallet up off the ground. Oh, their cat house fell apart. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Here's the other kitty house. Well, you can't see it. There, that's better. I can get in there and get warm. I'm in the cat house. They had flipped over Charlie's. They flipped over Charlie's house, so I just made it better. Yeah, it's actually warmer in here. It is warmer in here. Good. Mission accomplished. Someone's been using that back there, too. Put the rug and stuff in there. Good. It's a little warmer, anyway. It is. There's antifreeze in it, though, right? Oh, yeah, it's full. Okay. Oh. Maybe it's a bad thermostat. Did you ever think of that? No, it was leaking all underneath. Uh oh. Kitty cat! Whoa! Yeah, I'm not walking around out here. I'm gonna bust it. I don't wanna home. Home! Cozy home. <laughs> yeah, we're having a blast. Erg, truck won't start. Here. Come on, cat. Where's Scotch? Poof. Babe, I'm sorry we're going through this crud. It's just snow. Snow and cars not starting and stuff. That's normal. <laughs> Do you mind if I go downstairs and check on the plants? No, go warm up. All right. I this is you. either going to work or it's not, so. All right, thanks. Mm. Love you. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> Uh. There's a little bit of snow coming down. Just a little. 